Now, this is taxes from the Predatory Lending Network. Out with the news that the Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen was accused of being too political this week, siding with the Democrats. What do you think about that? Ah, uh, I mean, isn't that implicit in the name that the uh, politicians are political? I mean, that's kind of who they are and what they do, right? Uh, so I think everything they do is a little too political, but I guess it's an occupational hazard. I don't think you can ever really be too political. I think the government needs to be more political. All I know is all that Federal Reserve, that all that money belongs to me. I want all of that. Who cares about the Democrats? Who cares about the Republicans? It belongs to me. Right? Am I right? I'll, I'll give you a little. I'd share. <laughs> I think the Federal Reserve is far too political. It was meant to be a balance to control the budget and help maintain money to operate the government. Instead, it's become a, a point of issue between the Republicans and the Democrats. Neither one of them want to, want to yield. I myself am a Republican, but I, think, I don't think the Republican Party is doing justice to it. The same thing with the Democrats. I think it's like two children fighting over a, a block of wood in a, sand, in, a, in, a, in a sand pit. Does the Fed spend too much time talking to the President and the Treasury Secretary versus Republican leaders? Because that's what she was accused of doing this week. Uh, the President needs to be more involved in our affairs. If we do not talk to him enough, there won't be any need for us anymore. I think they spend way too much talking, period. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I think they spend too much time talking, period. But if I'm going to go ahead and comment on that, I, I, I will say that it should be even. There should be even amounts of time spent with both parties. Uh, I mean, you can go ahead and ignore those little parties that are never going to amount to anything. But, you know, Democrat, Republican kind of run the world. So we should probably spend equal time get both sides of the coin. Absolutely. But I have nothing else to say. Is, yes, absolutely. I think they should spend much more time um, dealing dealing with uh, you know with uh, with uh, people as a rule. Um, now there's a big push saying the Fed should be audited. Do you think that should be should happen? So you see, here's my thing on privacy, right? I think that the federal government shouldn't have any idea what the hell all of us people are doing, but we should know exactly what they're doing. Every penny spent, every little thing they do should be available for public record because they are public servants, technically speaking, which they don't ever act like. I think it should be done, yes. I think any business um, or any place that handles large sums of money should have independent auditing. That keeps people honest and it makes sure that everything balances properly. I mean, there's not a company, a major company in the world that doesn't go through audits. In fact, a lot of major companies push having independent audits come in to make sure they're staying within regulations. The federal government, the U.S. federal government, is the only entity in the United States that handles the amount of money that they do and they have no auditing means. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all I got on that. I have no comments for that at this time. Should the Fed keep records of all their meetings or would this hurt their independence? Keep record of all their meetings? Absolutely. Yes, and put it on the internet so we can all watch how boring those meetings are and then make money off of them. I think all records should be kept. I also think that they should uh, put them in, in if they're not of a classified nature, something that's not going to cause harm to our military, um, or, <coughs> excuse me, or cause harm to the, uh, to the people in general. I think all, rec all records should be public, public records. The feds should keep records of all their meetings, so if there are any discrepancies, we can go over them. Um, well, again, going back to what I just said, I think that we should know everything that they do. So keeping records is going to be a big part of that. Um, and I absolutely think that that will help because it's going to help us determine whether they're effective for our uh, ideals or not um, and whether or not we want to reelect those people. Um, and, and on top of that, it's going to help them understand what their constituents are looking for. Now, do you think the Federal Reserve is actually an independent organization? No. It's a, it is a... It is billed as an independent organization, but it is managed by um, private bankers. The Federal Reserve acts like an independent organization, but they are really a part of the U.S. government. Oh, it's absolutely political. What isn't political in all that nonsense? It's all political. It's all political crap. Um, I mean, that depends on how they're defined versus how they actually operate. Um, they shouldn't be, but they kind of act that way. Well, in closing, this is Taxes from the Predatory Lending Network looking for new and interesting ways to tax you.
So in closing, is there any last minute things you'd like to say? I think we've got a long ways to go before the government has, uh, has got itself straightened out. The only people that are going to be able to do it are people like yourself and myself, private citizens, standing up and making ourselves counted. And um, our, our greatest power is the power of the voting booth. Okay. So in closing, uh, this is Taxes from the Predatory Lending Network looking for new and interesting ways to tax you. So in closing, is there any last minute scary things you'd like to tell the folks? Be prepared for fear. So in closing, this is Taxes from the Predatory Lending Network looking for new ways to tax you. <laughs>